Привіт-привіт, мої дорогі студенти. Мене звати Інна. My name is Ina. Welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. In this video lesson, I'm going to teach you how to say the dates in the Ukrainian language. But before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and leave your comments about it. Ну що ж, почнімо. Let's get started. My British friend Candice and I organized the first Ukrainian speaking club in London um, in May and the next one will be on June 20. Uh, so if you live in London or in the surrounding areas, you're welcome. It's absolutely free and uh, you can uh, meet with other Ukrainian language learners in the pub, have some drink and practice speaking the beautiful Ukrainian language. I will be there and uh, it's my uh, big desire to help and spread uh, Ukrainian language across the whole world. So, when we had the first meeting, uh, many uh, speakers had troubles with pronouncing the years, like I was in Ukraine in 2018 or I was born in 1991. And I'm going to teach you how to say that. And uh, there are three different uh, ways to say that, different cases, and everything depends on the context. So, uh, when we ask uh, the question, what date, for example, what date is today? We can ask in Ukrainian, яке or котре сьогодні число. Яке, it means what, literally, котре, which. So in Ukrainian language we can ask uh, both using these two question words. Яке or котре сьогодні число. What date is today? And then you need to reply. Сьогодні друге червня. Today is the 2nd of June. Так, я записую це відео 2 червня. I record this uh, video on June the 2nd. Uh, так, uh, сьогодні друге червня. Today is the 2nd of June. So let's pay attention. What um, construction do we have here? So друге, the second, друге, it's the ordinal numeral in Ukrainian language in the neuter form. Why? Because uh, the word число in the question, pay attention, I already recorded a video lesson about that, that you need to pay attention to the question and uh, the grammar forms that are used in the question because you need to, re um, to repeat them in your answer. Число, it means number in Ukrainian language and it's a neuter gender noun. So therefore, in your answer, when you use the number, uh, you have to put it in the uh, neuter gender. So you reply, сьогодні друге червня. Червня is the month червень, June, in the genitive case. Why? Because they say the second of June. And after this preposition of, we use the genitive case. Or for example, завтра буде тридцять перше жовтня. For example, tomorrow will be the uh, 31st of October. Тридцять перше. 31st. Uh, this um, number consists of two words, soti and first. Pay attention. Tridsat soti. It's cardinal numeral and persha first. It's ordinal numeral. The same as in English. Tridsat persha. Sorry, first. First persha. Again, it's neuter gender because it's in agreement with the word число and жовтня, жовтень, nominative, жовтня, it's genitive case. So we use the genitive case for this construction. Um, or for example, після завтра буде um, перше uh, листопада, for example. Uh, the day after tomorrow will be the first of November. Перше листопада. Okay, the next construction. I told you how to say the date, but let's also add the year. 
Так, наприклад, сьогодні 2 червня 2023 рік. 2023 рік. 2023 year. Literally we say like this. Pay attention. 2000. 2020. Uh, these numbers are cardinal ones. Treti, third, it's ordinal numeral. And rik, year, is a masculine gender noun. Так, pay attention. Therefore, we say treti. We use the masculine gender form of third. 2023 rik. And this is the nominative case. So, okay. When we talk about this first construction, сьогодні 2 червня 2023 рік, а друге, it's a nominative a neuter gender, ordinal numeral, a, далі червня, it's genitive case, 2023 рік, it's all nominative case, Третій – it's uh, ordinal numeral nominative case masculine gender. Okay, uh, let's continue. Uh, so when we talk about um, like when something happened, we can ask якого року, which year, or коли, when. Так, for example, якого року, коли почалася, Друга світова війна. When uh, did the Second World War start? And we can say, uh, Війна почалася 1939 року. Так, uh, the war started uh, uh, так, um, in 1939. But how to say it in Ukrainian? What cases do we use? 1930, it's nominative case. And then 9-го року, 9-го року, it's genitive case. Pay attention. Okay, let's say the whole date, for example. I ask you, коли ти народився? Або коли ти народилася? When were you born? Так, and I want to tell you about myself. Я народилася, I was born, 30 червня 1994 року. Я народилася 30 червня 1994 року. Окей, okay. what cases and constructions do I use here? 30 червня Genitive case. 30-го, ordinal numeral genitive. Червня. It's genitive case again. Uh, 1990 nominative. Четвертого року, uh, genitive case. So, if you want to talk about yourself, then you can just... Um, uh, use the same kind of endings when we talk about the genitive case. So to the number, you add this ending ОГО to this order number. Yeah? Першого червня, другого, третього, четвертого. So you just take an ordinal uh, numeral and add this ending ОГО. Then uh, when you talk about the months, you put them in the genitive case. How to do that? I have already recorded a video lesson about the months, so please check it out. Or you can just use the website slovnik.com and there you can just uh, write any name of the months and check out the genitive case form. Так, uh, and um, then you say uh, the year in the genitive case, the same, uh, you put the last uh, number of the year in the genitive case. And roku, so rik, it's nominative, roku, pay attention, we do changing of the vowels, rik, roku, i, we change into o, because it's a uh, word with uh, one syllable, it is a closed one, and um, 
uh, it has only one vowel, it's E. So we change it into E. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Rik roku, takit kota, nish noja, etc. That's, that's uh, the rule. Okay, and um, tak, oh, oh, for example, koli pochalasa povno mashtabna vina v Ukraini. When the full scale war started in Ukraine. And you reply. 24 лютого 2022 року. 24 лютого 20 it's nominative cardinal 4 лютого it's 4 ordinal um, genitive case лютого genitive case 2020 nominative 2 року другого again ordinal genitive roku it's genitive case pay attention and another construction uh, that also you can see it in which year у якому році and then we use the locative case наприклад у якому році закінчилася війна yes i talk about the war because it's something this is something that is common that we can uh, common in the history books we can uh, talk about it a lot yeah so for example так у якому році закінчилась війна in which year did the war finish війна закінчилась у 1945 році let's analyze the sentence this construction війна закінчилась the war uh, ended так finished ended у 1940 1940 um, it's nominative case п'ятому році п'ятому it's п'ятий it's ordinal nominative case п'ятому it's ordinal locative case рік year nominative році it's um, uh, it's a uh, uh, locative case. Again, we do changing of the vowels. Rik, roci, e into o, and also we do here changing of the consonants because for the locative case, when we have uh, this ending um, ka at the end, this letter consonant, and then we add um, ending e, we do change ka into c. Rik, roci. Pay attention. Tak. Uh, у 1945 році. Uh, так, тому pay attention. Uh, so, it's important. Uh, if you see this preposition у in front of the uh, year uh, in the book, uh, then you think, okay, this preposition у, we use it uh, with a locative case in Ukrainian language. Therefore, uh, I have to add this ending ОМУ to the ordinal numeral. ПЕРШОМУ, ДРУГОМУ, ТРЕТЬОМУ, ЧЕТВЕРТОМУ, ШОСТОМУ и так далі. Так, for example, you, you can see this part of the sentence. Крім того, у 2015 році в Україні з'явився бла-бла-бла. Besides, in 2015, in Ukraine appeared бла-бла-бла. It's just like a piece from the article. So you can see, when you see this preposition у, then you see uh, the um, year, and then you see році. Році, ага, році, it's... It's locative case and it's ending E at the end. So again, 2015, um, this OMU ending, it's locative case. You can ask me, Ina, can we read in 2015? We don't read it like this. Крім того, у 2015 році. No, we don't read like this in Ukrainian language. You need to read the whole year and use the appropriate cases according to the construction. And there are three constructions that I shared with you. I know it's very difficult, but you just need to uh, write these patterns, these uh, endings that I showed you in this video lesson and just practice to, um, to write them in Ukrainian language. And I would like to ask you, 
коли ти народився, it's a question to men, because народився, коли ти народилася, it's a question to woman, because this feminine ending, народилася. When were you born? Please write your answers in the comments below and I will check them out. About the cases, of course you know that I must recommend you my amazing textbook Master Ukrainian Cases in which you will find all the rules, all the um, usages, um, all the endings, the tables, how to use each case and it's very important and without it you won't be able to speak the Ukrainian language even at the basic level, believe me, so I highly recommend you it. You can get it on my website speaky.com. This is uh, my school, Speak Ukrainian. I am so proud of it. And also you can check out some other learning materials, textbooks, flashcards, online courses, uh, individual lessons for the professional native teachers. Thank you so much for supporting me, uh, Ukraine, in these difficult times. Thank you, my um, patro patrons. Um, please check out my uh, charity store buy t-shirts safe ukrainian life so if you want to get this beautiful t-shirt you can see i created this design made in ukraine and there is this beautiful uh, dna vishivanka pattern um, you can get the same t-shirt at this charity store and 100 percent of um, income um, I send to uh, people who are in need. I help uh, Kherson people, I help uh, hospitals, um, destroyed villages, etc. So it's very important to keep um, helping. And I hope that very soon we can say the full-scale war is finished in Ukraine. That's my dream. Дуже дякую. Thank you so much. Teacher Ina, ваша вчителька Ina і папа. Bye-bye.